Art's definitely been always a part of my life because where I grew up in St. Mary's Projects, it was this hill and the, and the trains would stop right there so you can see the full length of the train. There would be some that would look like they just came out brand new to the point where I was like, man, are the train companies hiring these artists to do this? Until later I think I realized that it was illegal, which made it even more cool. <laughs> it, was, it was like, wow, like, this is cool and the person that's doing it is badass. So I fell in love with it even more. And I remember seeing some work from Five Five Freddy and the Campbell Soup dedication. I remember literally seeing that. I didn't really know the gems that was around me at that particular time, but I grew to learn. When I first started collecting art, it was kind of decoration. And I just purchased my first home and I wanted some art on my walls. And so I started going to galleries. Then I just started asking a lot of questions. And I, I did this for about a year and a half to two years before I actually bought a piece. And it was an Ansel Adams photography piece, which I still have, um, that spoke to me the most, maybe because it was a destination that I never really thought that I would ever get a chance to see. It's the only way I, I collect art. The, the piece has to speak to me. Like I used to collect art for the wrong reasons. I used to collect art to impress guests that was coming to my house and try to separate myself from a lot of my peers. But then I learned not all of those particular pieces that I was collecting didn't really speak to me past the hype point. Now in my collection, I know every artist that's in the collection personally, everything I purchase speaks to me and I can live with it. I'm gonna talk about King Kerry James first, just from the line graphs that's going under the bottom of the work of how perfect he wants every subject in the painting to be. And, and it's just like that type of craftsmanship is, is serious. You know, it's a, different, it's a different style from a Basquiat. I don't know how to compare those two. They're both masters in their own craft. Like Basquiat was unorthodox just in his own disruptive way. And Kerry James is more like, I'm a master. This is what I do. I'm a master of, of craft, detail, and this is how I work. Particularly, I'm proud of him being a living artist and getting this type of exposure, um, especially a living artist of color. I'm a super fan of, of Lana Simpson's work. I just like the diversity that she comes to the table with. The triptych that's in the show, the images are just so powerful, but it's like less is more. And to see her being so diverse in, in her craft, the sky's not the limits, it's just the view. The world is your playground when it comes to creativity. And you can see that she's having fun in her work. I went to the big Kahende retrospect at the Brooklyn Museum with him. And I'm looking around the room and I'm looking at the names that's on all of the plaques. And I'm like, wait a minute, there's no people of color own none of these works that you're painting of us? And he was like, unfortunately not. And it just blew me out my chair. A lot of people can complain from the sidelines. For me, I challenged a lot of my peers that I know that have the means to get on board and, you know, let's Let's show that we are part of the culture because we can't say we are part of the culture if we don't own a part of the culture. But all of these artists paid their dues and all of these artists fought to be where they are today, which, which I respect. There's no good or bad way to do art, right? Because art is an expression of that particular artist. And it's just like music. You either agree with that expression or not. You can't miss anything in this show. But what I'm gonna tell them to see is definitely the, the Kerry James Marshall because it's gonna be the last time they ever see it. That piece, I would take a photo in front of it and just say that I remember that one small time it was available, I was there. I urge collectors to collect from their heart and with passion. At the end of the day, what I've learned, if I love it, just get it and figure out everything else later because it's never gonna be the right price, right? So. Uh, Get what you love.